Now these are crappy, so we're fixing to give you a little demonstration in blackened fillets. Redfish, trout, bass, just get your fillets. Look here, you just dust them with a little black pepper. You do one side on the sheet right here. My grill is ready. If you don't have a grill like this, it's a small one. If you don't have that, you can take a black skillet and just a sprinkling, not much, just a little bit of salt, not much. About like that. So you got that. They make all kind of blackened seasoning for fish. I've got two kinds here. Depending on how much of this put you put on it is how spicy they're gonna be. If you like them really kicked up a notch, pour it to it. I'm gonna say about a half a stick of butter I have that grill on about 400. See, that's hot. That's real hot. So look, you take that. Uh, you get excited when you see smoke. Smoke's not always a bad thing. When it comes to blackened uh, fish, smoke is a good thing. This is not going to take long on each side. I mean, just a little bit. You can get them a little brown if you want to, but that basically is it. Very easy. Then you take a little of your essence. They like them kind of spicy here. The little ones, uh, the small ones, they'll black them first but they're already done, I can tell you. Now, if you like them kind of crispy, leave them on there a while. Fix you a little salad, a little baked potato. See easy as that is? These are bullfrogs, Louisiana's finest. I just let them soak with buttermilk for about an hour before you get ready to prepare them. Then drain the excess off. You get your bowl. You can put you an egg or two in here. Put you a little beer. This would be, I like the dark beer. You put a little beer in the egg, get you a little Creole mustard, kind of spiced up a little bit, you know. Put you a little dash or two of Tabasco or Louisiana hot sauce. You can get as wild as you want to with that. Put you a little shot of Worcestershire. Look, you're just gonna pour that right over your right over your frogs. See here? There's your beer, your eggs, and your Cajun mustard with a little, little Worcestershire. You roll these in flour. You roll them around in that. Your batter is on them. That's about what you want to look like right there. See right here? They're ready to go into the pan. Throw your butter in there. Look, get your olive oil. And all you want to do is just coat the bottom of these skillets. All you want them to be kind of golden brown quickly. And then you drop them over in the oven for 15 or 20 minutes. And oh, are they fine. I don't have this fire on very high. You want them to slowly brown. I'm gonna turn them one time and they're gonna go over in this one and I have olive oil in a little bit. They're gonna still be cooking. I'm gonna put my essence in and I'm just gonna stack them in there. I have four or five cloves of garlic. I just left them whole. I have a little parsley or rosemary, whichever one you want, and two or three green onions. We're gonna put them in the oven, oven about 300 degrees for about 15 minutes. 
and they'll just slip off the bone and be as tender as fine. You ever see, we're gonna let our moisture from our garlic and our onions cook through them, and oh, they'll be fine. And now we'll get in on these bullfrogs. Oh my goodness. Hey, check this out. Look. Say what? Oh my goodness. 